Welcome to Wellness Wednesday. I am doing do-it-yourself laundry soap today. So I'm gonna quickly go through the recipe, throw everything together, and show you how easy it is done and why it doesn't take as much time as everybody complains that they don't have time for, okay? Um, I'm also going to include in the comments of this post um, a do-it-yourself laundry label. So you can print this and add this to your own um, bottles so that you have it every time you need it. Okay, and I'm doing a double batch because we're a big family. <laughs> so uh, the first thing I'm going to do is a quarter cup of baking soda. So I just use the regular arm and hammer. Uh, they're not rated for anything toxic uh, the last time I checked, so I feel comfortable using them. And it says a quarter cup, and because I'm doing a double batch, I'm going to do two of these quarter cups. So I've got one. And two. Now it says a quarter cup of Castell soap. So this is Bronner's Castell soap. You can get it, um, Costco sells it with the peppermint in it. You can also buy it <clears throat> unscented at any of your local health shops. I believe this cost me $10 for 1.18 liters at Costco. So it's super cheap. And today I use half a cup a month in my uh, laundry soap. So that goes for a long time. So I'm gonna do uh, a quarter cup of Castell soap in each of my buckets because I'm doing a double batch. Okay, there's my quarter cup of Castell. Now I'm gonna do a tablespoon and a teaspoon of Epsom salt. If you don't have Epsom salt or you don't like Epsom salt, you can use a coarse salt. The idea is you want to use a salt because it will emulsify the essential oils that you add later. Okay, so this is my tablespoon. One and one. And now my teaspoon. One. one. <clears throat> Okay, and I just buy any brand of Epsom salts. I've never really noticed the difference. Um, although I don't get them with anything in them, I get them plain, so. <clears throat> Eight cups of water, so I'm right here by the sink, so. It should be warm water. Four. Six. Eight. Now into my second bucket. Okay, and now I'm going to add five to ten drops of essential oils. So today I picked doTERRA's On Guard, and I'm picking the Citrus Bliss. I've heard really great rest, um, reviews on what this will smell like, so we're going to do five of each. Okay, and I'm going to give it all a really quick stir. Try and get those salts to dissolve. Okay. 
Now I'm ready to pour them into my containers here. I just used old um, laundry containers that I already had from before, so it was super easy. And that one's really full. Okay, so that's my double batch there. I think that took me five minutes. I make four of these every month, and my family goes through four of them every month. We do, we're a family of uh, seven. So we have five children and two adults. I have little boys who wet the bed frequently and also have accidents. So we normally wash our laundry with a pre-wash and then a full uh, cycle wash. So I use twice as much soap as what somebody else might use that doesn't have boys that have accidents um, because I don't separate my laundry. Uh, my kids throw my the stuff in the wash right away. And so we go through four of these a month. And the math of that is it works out to um, a single batch is about $6. So I spend maybe $24 a month on laundry if I can buy all my ingredients on sale. Uh, previous to that, when I was buying one of these, it was costing me $20 for one of these uh, in the non-toxic brands. I was using Honest, and Honest wasn't rating very well on the uh, Environmental Working Group's um, rating so uh, we decided that we would try and switch it up and do a do-it-yourself laundry soap um, we've tried a lot of the health shop ones not all of them a lot of them when they have the scent added into them they're actually not uh, very good um, very good scents added into it they could be chemicals so you have to be really careful because even your health shop could be selling stuff that's still going to be toxic to your to your body and your health and you're putting that right on you you wear your clothes all day so you are breathing that in so um, I like to use doTERRA's high-end um, therapeutic grade essential oils because um, I've had a, a lot of really great experience with them so if you're interested to find out how to buy um, high-grade essential oils connect with me and I'll, I'll show you how to get a wholesale account um, and the best way to do it uh, and then for our dryer we use dryer balls so this is what dryer balls look like. They're basically like wool balls. How cool is that? Um, if you're allergic to sheep's wool, usually you can find an alpaca farm. And some people aren't allergic to alpaca. So this is actually an alpaca uh, dryer ball. And what I like to do, I have like a big basket of it. And I just drip a whole bunch of um, essential oils on it. And it lasts about a week, sometimes two weeks, the essential oils on the dryer ball. And I, I usually keep about 12 of them because sometimes two or three of them get lost in the laundry. But I put about three to six of them in every load. Um, and my family does two to three loads a day. So we do about uh, a max of 90 loads a month, I would say. And, uh, yeah, it costs us $24 to wash about 90 loads of laundry. So I haven't seen anything yet that could beat that price. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. I'm always curious to know what people think. And the label for the laundry soap will be uh, in the comments. Okay, thanks guys. Take care. Have a good day.